Hi, Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. And last fall, when I was at the Segmented Wood Turning Symposium, I had a discussion with Joe Shawin. I believe I can pronounce his name at least somewhat close. I'm sorry, Joe. Anyway, he had seen a couple of my videos uh, where I had did a, a little vase and wondered why I used a glass insert when I could use something else. I said, well, what's that something else? He said, plexiglass. I said, what? How can you use plexiglass inside of a vase? Well, he said, it's actually simple. Take some plexiglass, the, the sheet of clear acrylic stuff, and break it up into a jar, probably have to be glass, and pour in a bunch of acetone. And after you wait a while, this I mixed up on the, a month ago, uh, it will turn into a very gooey sludge. And actually, it needs to be stirred more, but I have thinner stuff up top and thicker stuff on the bottom. It's kind of the consistency of very thick syrup, uh, at least on the bottom. On the top, it's chocolate syrup. I don't know. Any case, so I decided to put him to the test, and I turned several of these little... Uh, cups out of uh, cedar, which is a fairly light wood, open poured, so I figured it would be a good test. So they're all pretty much the same, and uh, so on two of them, these two over here, I actually took a acid brush and painted the inside of the cup with the acetone and plexiglass or acrylic mixture. Well, then I added water and some drops of food coloring. Now, these two have been coated. These two have not. This one has been in, had water in it for two days. This one has had water in it for one day, and this one for two days, this one for one day. Very quickly, those that had no coating, actually the water and food coloring seeped right out and made a big mess. I'm certainly glad I had them in these pans. Within a day, didn't take two days for it to seep out. Now this one has a little bit of coloring on the outside, I think because I moved it and I sloshed. So I cut it apart just to see if there was any dye penetration inside. There is not that I can detect. So, but it is a fault in my experiment. Now this one has been holding the red dye water for a day without any trace of it on the outside. So I consider this a success. Now Joe had been researching I believe as a potential product but he found that acetone is too volatile and it's too hard to control the mix. So he suggested that I Go ahead and put it on a video and let people experiment with it and tell me your results in dissolving acrylic sheet into acetone and then using it to coat the inside of something that you want to be waterproof. Now, I haven't tested it on the outside. I don't know how it would finish or anything of that sort yet. So more work to be done. But meanwhile, if I'm making a little vase that might get water in it, I'm going to coat it with my dissolved acrylic. Have fun with it.